Hello and welcome to It Just Works. My name is Virtual Paradise, or you can just call me VP. Today we're going to be looking at the RTX 2070 Super and how it stands up to mining Ethereum in 2022, which will also translate to the same hash rate for Ethereum Classic, as ETC might be one of the best options after the Ethereum merge. So the RTX 2070 Super was Nvidia's refresh to the 2070. In regards to gaming, it's still a pretty good 1440p and 4K card, so it should have pretty good resellability in future. It was only released in July 2019, so the card isn't even three years old yet. Now let's head into the mining room and see the current Ethereum mining performance of my 2070 Supers. So I have two 2070 Supers. I have this Gigabyte White Wind Force model. And I have this MSI 2070 Super as well. Now looking at the 2070 values, on um, both of them I get just under 44 mega hash and I basically get between 100 and 110 watts. Uh, the one's on 111 watts at the moment, the MSI one. But that one I couldn't pull the power limit all the way down, whereas the Gigabyte 2070 Super I could pull the power limit all the way down and lock the core clock. Because normally on the 20 series, uh, when you pull the power limit all the way down in MSI Afterburner for example, the cards will normally go to 124 to 125 watts and then you need to lock the core clock to bring them down even further than that. That's been my experience with almost every single 20 series apart from the odd outlier. So the 20, so the 2070 Super basically seems to be similar to the 2060 Super and the 2080 and just the regular 2070. So normally between about 400 and 450 kilohash per watt mining Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and this is going to be a good gauge because this will be the same hash rate for Ethereum Classic and if Ethereum Classic uh, really manages to pick up speed after Ethereum moves to proof of stake then we know we're going to have a nice reliable algorithm to mine which will be quite kind on our GPUs. <laughs> now if we take a look over at what to mine, I've put in a hash rate of 44 mega hash for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic at around 105 watts so we'll calculate that out and I've still got my 30 cents a kilowatt hour because that's what I'm currently paying in the UK until I get solar panels. So as you can see, we're mining around $1.83 worth of Ethereum a day before power and then just over a dollar after power. If I change that to 10 cents a kilowatt hour, which a lot of people seem to be on, then you'll be getting around $1.57 after power. So still extremely profitable at the moment. If we have a look at Ethereum Classic. That's currently around 117 a day and around 92 cents a day after power. So that's the current numbers for profitability for the 2070 Super. For reference, it's the 20th of April 2022 and the current price of Ethereum is $3,065. So to conclude, I think the 2070 Super is still a great card for mining the Ethereum algorithm. It's another one that's easy to overclock and find the right locked core clocks on the mining software. All the 2070 Supers I've seen need two power connectors though, either two 8 pins or an 8 pin and a 6 pin. So take that into consideration when thinking how many splitters you'll need. And mining at around 42 to 45 mega hash at around 100 watts, it's still proven to be an efficient mining card, usually slightly more efficient than the LHR cards. But also being a great gaming card, it should still hold on to some value over the next few years. So overall, I'm still very happy to pick up these cards at the right price which at the moment my limit would be under £350 or $450. Well that's it for this video, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the content or learned something new, please drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy mining! Peace!